You want a Minecraft minimap? And the best Minecraft minimap is Xero's minimap. Let's go ahead and get it. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Xero's minimap. But once you're here, go ahead and click on the download Xero's minimap button. Go to the official download page on CurseForge. Here, go ahead and click Files, and then you want to find the 1.21 Fabric version. For me, it's up here at the top, but you can also filter for 1.21 and Fabric. Right there it is. Click the three dots on the right-hand side and click Download File, and after a few seconds, the download will begin. While we're waiting on this to download, help us from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down to XYZ SGH and start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mod plugins or mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out if you have any issues along the way. So go check out Simple Game Hosting. Get the first link in the description down below. Break down to the XYZ slash SGH and start hosting a Minecraft server the simple way. You may need to keep or save Xero's minimap here, which we need to do. It's 100% safe to do that. And we can go ahead and get Fabric. Fabric's the mod loader that's going to allow Xero's minimap to actually work in Minecraft. And you can find it at the second link in the description down below. Once you're here, go ahead and scroll down and click on the Download Fabric button. This is our in-depth guide on getting fabric and text format if you prefer that by the way but we're going to be going over most stuff in this video once you're on the fabric download page find the download universal jar link it's this little link here under download for windows the reason we're clicking that and downloading it you may need to keep or save it by the way using that is because this will allow you to get mods and servers and things like that easier in the future now there's one more thing we need to download and that's the fabric api the fabric api is an api mod that xero's minimap needs in order to work in game it's provided by Fabric and it's just kind of an additional thing you have to get whenever you're getting Xero's minimap. You can find this linked in the description down below and once you're here just like everything else we've talked about in this video click the download Fabric API button to go to CurseForge. Click files find the 1.21 version right here it is at the top. Click the three dots and click download file. Again you may need to keep or save it depending on your browser but it's 100% safe to do that. Nevertheless we want to go ahead and minimize our browser and drag and drop all of these from our downloads folder or wherever downloads go on your computer to your desktop. Once these are on your desktop, we want to start off with the Fabric Installer. So we have the Fabric API, that's not what we want. We have Xero's Minimap, that's not what we want. And we have the Fabric Installer, that is what we want. Right click on the Fabric Installer, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java? Well, if you don't have Java, or you do, and this is a weird one, right? You, you have Java here, you click OK and it doesn't work. Well, in both of those cases, you need Java 21. Java 21 is brand new for Minecraft 1.21 and it's now required for Minecraft mods. So even if you have Java in the past, you might not have this version and so you want to make sure you download it. We've got an in-depth guide in the description down below that goes over everything you need to know to get Java 21. You also need to run the jar fix after you get Java. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java and making them work happily together. But first, download and install Java, then run the jar fix. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and get Fabric installed. So right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That'll open up the Fabric installer where all we've got to do is make sure 1.21 is selected and click Install. Boom, there we go. Fabric is successfully installed. The only reason it might not install is if you've never played Minecraft 1.21 before. If that's the case, open it to the main menu and close out of it. Or if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open when installing Fabric, it won't work. So go ahead and click OK there, then close out of the Fabric installer and delete the Fabric installer. Now the fun part, let's get our Minecraft mods installed, specifically our Minecraft minimap installed. To do that, open up the Minecraft launcher here, but do not play Minecraft. We're gonna install everything before we play. So in order to do that, go to installation up here at the top. Then you want to make sure modded is checked in the top right. Right there it is. Want to make sure modded is checked because if modded is not checked, fabric's not here. Once it's checked, there is fabric 1.21. If you've got this, skip forward. Just probably 10-15 seconds in the video. But if you don't, no worries. Let's go ahead and create a new installation here. You can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the best way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then we want to go ahead and select the version here. And here we want to search for fabric and then select the fabric loader 1.21 version. Finally, you can click create in the bottom right and now you have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly is the correct version of fabric. For those of you who already had the fabric loader, welcome back. Go ahead and hover over your fabric installation and click on the folder icon that appears. That's going to open up our Minecraft folder here and in here you should have a mods folder. But what if you don't? Well if you don't have a mods folder, no worries, just make one. Right click, create a new folder, and then title it mods. M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. And then open your mods folder. Then drag and drop Xero's minimap and the fabric API into your mods folder, right like so. 
Once you've done that, we can come back into the Minecraft launcher and play Minecraft using fabric. We want to use the fabric installation that was there by default or the one that we created. And now, once we're in game, we can join a Minecraft server, play single player, anything you want. The mini map will work, and as long as it's allowed by rules, it'll even work on public servers. We're going to go ahead and join this simplegamehosting.com server, and once we're in game, you will instantly be able to see that the mini map is active in the top left. Now, it's it's dark right now. That's okay. It'll take a few seconds to load in, and once it does, you're good to go. It's it's now in game. It is set up. You can edit the settings of your mini map by pressing Y on your keyboard. When you do, you can turn it on and off. You can change positions and set. Like I said, all sorts of settings here, but also access waypoints. This is one of my favorite features. And you can actually add a waypoint. So we're gonna go ahead and add a waypoint. This is my spawn area here. We can go ahead and confirm. And then once we're back in game, we'll be able to swing around and we have this spawn waypoint. And it is persistent. So if we go behind blocks and stuff like that, you'll still be able to see that. You can also open waypoints by pressing U on your keyboard and right there is the spawn you can teleport to it if you have cheats enabled and you can go ahead and delete disable enable so if you disable it it will turn it off there and you can go ahead and enable it and bring it back so there you have it that's how you can use Xero's minimap and get it installed in Minecraft 1.21 let us know if you have any questions in the comments and we'll see you in the next video I am out peace